In this deeply stirring memoir, Out of My Mind, A Psychologist's Descent into Madness and Back, the therapist Dr. Shalom grapples with bipolar affective disorder, penning his experiences with such raw authenticity that it left me profoundly disturbed. Uh, the narrative compelled me to question the limits of a caregiver's endurance as I yearned for his wife to liberate herself from the harrowing trials that accompany her roles, which speaks volumes of the author's ability to communicate what he really went through. The only other time I felt this shaken was after reading Andrew Solomon's Noonday Demon. This memoir was much shorter, only about 250 pages, and it exposed the depths of my own visceral reactions. It is an indispensable addition to any mental health professional, be it a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a psychiatric social worker's bookshelf, uh, because it's a perspective of mental illness through the lens of a mental health professional and ensnared in uh, the throes of his own psychosis and deep depressions. So in a way, the account transcends the usual narrative provided by those outside the mental health profession. And it's quite a fine portrayal of a life navigating mood disorders year on year on year. I must caution the tender-hearted. This book is not for you. It's a stark and unyielding story. Um, in my own life, I too have been acquainted with the disquietude that mental illness can bestow upon a family. And I've borne witness to the agony of uh, caregivers who've shouldered this burden of tending to our afflicted loved ones. So the piercing resonance of this memoir rendered it a, a, quite an arduous read even for me. As part of the Regina collection, that's what it's called, this memoir stands among many other essential works penned by individuals who are stuck in um, the grasp of circumstances, both political and social, that lie far beyond their control. So the books are beautifully packaged and bound, and they look quite delicious. There are 16 titles in all. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>